Tonight's video is going to be a review on a new palette that launched from Bare Minerals for their holiday season. And this is a palette I've been using for about a month now, and so I can finally share with you the pros and cons of this palette and what I really think of it. And this was definitely requested by you guys, so I had to make this video. So I'm going to be reviewing the convertible eyeshadow palette from Bare Minerals that came out this season. So if you want to see more information and swatches about this palette, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is the palette that came out about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. And this was a palette that has been wanted by a lot of people. And I really do like this palette because it's it's totally different from a lot of palettes that Bare Minerals has had in the future. And the fact that it features their new Ready Solid shadows is really cool. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, just kind of your typical Bare Minerals um, box and then when you open it up which I think is cool the top has um, pictures and the names of all the colors of all the shadows that are in this palette and it also has where you can use each shadow on your eyelid so it's kind of like a guide for beginners or if you just want new ideas on how to place the eyeshadow on your lid um, it will have everything on here for you so you can kind of use this as a guide so in here is the palette so this is what the palette looks like. Um, it really has a nice design on the cover. And of course it has the Bare Minerals logo. And on the back, which I really like, and I think a lot of um, people who use eyeshadow or have a huge collection of eyeshadow, you like to know what color you're using. So on the back it has all the names and colors of the eyeshadow on the back. It also has numbers. And also on the back of this palette is a little picture. It's kind of like painting by numbers. So it has it on the back for you and it has numbers of where you can place the shadow on your lid. So one, the one colors would be the base, two would be the crease, and three would be liner. You don't have to use the colors, you know, in that placement. If you want, you can kind of switch it up and change it around. Um, but it's just kind of a guide for you, which is kind of cool. So that's what the packaging looks like um, of this palette. So let's go ahead and open it. So this is what the inside looks like. Um, sorry if it's kind of dirty. Like I said, I have been using this for about a month now. So I've kind of used. Um, but this is what the palette looks like. It's really big. You have a good amount of product um, for each shadow and you have a good range of colors too, which is nice. So the coolest feature about this palette is that it has um, a little palette. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you. There's a little palette within this big palette and you can actually pop these shadows out. Um, let me show you, I'll pop this one out. So you can actually pop these shadows out and you can kind of place them wherever you want or you can put them right into the center palette that actually can be snapped out and thrown like in your purse or a small bag or luggage, whatever you want if you don't want to carry this huge entire palette with you. So the eyeshadows do snap out, which is nice, and they lock right back in. So I'm going to show you the center palette. So this is the big palette, and then if you close it, you can actually pop the center out with just a little wiggle. There we go. Um, you have to pull a little bit. but the center palette comes out and I just think that's really cool so you can kind of customize the center with whatever shadows you want to place in there and then you get the little um, double ended I think it's like the precision eye brush so it's a mini version of that which is you know one of the good brushes that um, nice brushes that Bare Minerals has so it's a tiny little compact that you can take with you on the go so now I'm going to go over the shadows that come in this collection. I'm going to try to do this fast. So um, I'm going to show you swatches of these shadows three at a time on my hand so you can kind of get a better idea of what the pigmentation and the shadows look like. So the first three colors that I'm going to show you are the ones right up top right here. Sorry, that brush just fell out. So the first one right here is called Stealth. This one is Mixologist and the pink one is Muse. So I'm going to show you. So, this is Stealth, so this is a matte. This one's awesome for a base that has more of a peachy undertone. 
This one is Mixologist, and it's kind of a champagne um, satin finish, and it has a little bit more shimmer to it. Um, but that is an awesome pigmented color. And then this one, the pink one, is Muse. So that is has more of a pink undertone, as you can see. But all three of these are really pigmented. Um, these two I use a lot just because I like the warmer tones. Um, but the pigmentation is awesome. So the next three colors that I'm going to show you are the ones right here. And they are on my hand, so I swatched them for you. So this one is Daydream. So this is a matte color. It's almost like a bone tone. This one is one of my favorites. This one's called Embellish. Super pigmented. Love that one. And this one I use almost every day. This one is called Perspective. And these three are also very pigmented and there's great color payoff with these colors. The three colors that I'm going to show you now are right on the bottom in the center. And this is what it looks like on the hand. So from left to right, this one is Max Volume. So this is a really pretty um, metallic green. I wish it was this vibrant on the lid. I think after you blend it out a little bit, it fades um, and is less vibrant. This color is gorgeous. This is Hot Commodity, very pigmented. And this pink right here is custom made. So mostly all the metallic ones are super pigmented and great color payoff. The last group of shadows are going to be these three right here. And um, these two are considered liners along with this brown that I showed you earlier. So I have to say that these are my three least favorite shadows in the palette. Um, just because the pigmentation isn't that great. So this one is the charcoal gray and this is panorama and then the middle one is maven this is my least favorite out of the entire palette and this one the purple is called in vogue so this one is just not great pigmentation at all it's it's just not that great i'll um let me layer so this is supposed to be like a navy blue as you can see um it doesn't show that much pigment. You really have to build up this color to even get a semi-good color payoff. I don't know. I was just kind of disappointed with this shadow and this shadow. The color is all right. I think you just have to build it a little bit more. But these two, um, I'm a little bummed about. They are my least favorite in the palette. So after using this palette for about a month, a month and a half, um, would I recommend this palette? Yes, I would still recommend it. Um, even though there's a few colors that aren't very pigmented like you saw in my swatches, um, I would still totally recommend this palette. The other colors are amazing. All the metallic shimmery colors are super pigmented. They blend really nicely like all the other ready bare mineral shadows. Um, even the other matte colors that come in this palette are a great basis to have. They're great basic eyeshadows that kind of go with everything. So it's a great collection overall um, for this palette. So yes, I would totally recommend it. Just these two right here um, are my least favorite, but besides that, I still use this palette almost every day and um, it's just a great value. So the total is right now for $48.00. And I don't know if that will go down in price later on this holiday, but um, 48 bucks for all those shadows and a convertible palette is pretty awesome, I think. So I've been using Bare Minerals for four years now, and I don't know, I, I think the palette and the thought of it and um, just how you can customize it is really cool. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. And I think it's definitely worth buying. So I hope you guys like this review on this palette. I tried to keep it kind of short, but I did want to include some swatches in this video. Normally I don't include swatches, but um, I wanted to at least show you guys um, in this video. So anyway, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And I might do a blog post on this palette. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, I will include a link. And that's it. So I will see you guys in the next video. And please tell me if you end up um, getting this palette or if you have used it. What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to hear. So I will see you in the next video. And happy holidays. Mm -hmm.